guys welcome back today's video is a personal favorite of mine it is going to be a balloon dog animal it's a wiener dog these are my favorite i think they're so cute and they're just super fun to draw you're really gonna see that today but you're gonna see kind of how you can change up your background and everything too and yeah he's super super cute so let's get started so to get started for today's project just like always, you need a piece of paper. I always just use a plain eight and a half by 11. If you have bigger, you can use bigger. If you have smaller, you can use smaller, however you want. And then you need a writing utensil. So today I'm using a Sharpie because I like to use the Sharpies just so that you guys can better see what I'm drawing as well as um, be able to really, I guess, outline and everything too. <laughs> Sorry, I was losing my train of thought. I... I'm sorry I might sound a little congested today. <clears throat> I'm getting over some bad allergies. It's my lovely life. So, alright, so you're going to turn your paper the long way, or the short way. Not the long way, the short way. Just like so. And we're going to get started with our balloon dog. So, for this, I'm going to start more towards um, this side of the paper. So, maybe like two to three finger spaces. And we're going to start with the nose. Okay. So you're going to draw just a small little oval, like so. And you're going to draw two curved lines. Notice how these are curving in. So I'm curving them in, but they're not touching. So what this is actually going to be is the end of the balloon. Um, we're just starting with this because it's going to overlap into our other spots a little bit. <clears throat> All right. Then what you're going to do is you're going to connect with another curved line. Like so. It almost looks like a little bit of a one of those microphone that you yell into. Alright. Next what you're gonna do is not lining up with that bottom, but just a little bit above. You're gonna draw a nice good size oval. So again, I didn't start at the bottom, I went in just a little bit so that it looks like it's overlapping. And then you're just going to draw a couple little marks so that, again, it looks like it overlaps and it's sitting on there. I'm going to do that funny. Like so. All right, next we are going to be starting on to the ears. So with these, there's a lot of overlapping, which is why the directions and the way that I'm going to do this is so that if you are using a Sharpie, you don't have to erase a lot. So we're going to start about one finger space in. And you're going to draw a nice tall, so it's kind of like a straight line on this one. It's not so curved like these. And then you're going to curve out just a little. And then you're going to curve and bring it back in. Okay. So I need to fix some of those little edges if you do. And then you're going to go about kind of just maybe a, a less than a finger space down. And you're going to come out and bring that around. So this is all curved on that one. <clears throat> Alright, next what you're going to do is right where this one connects to the head, you're going to bring it out and you're going to bring it down. Okay, and then you're going to do the same but on this side you're going to connect kind of towards the middle a little bit underneath that actually. That's a good and a standing point and you're going to curve but you're going to not connect these yet okay now we're going to work on the feet a little so you're going to start maybe about a finger space from the bottom and you're going to draw a nice big oval this is just a regular shaped oval although mine got a little wonky <laughs> but just a regular shaped oval on that one then, and that, if you notice, is going to close and finish this. So if you don't quite bring it around all the way and you make that oval, you might have to just finish connecting this center, which is kind of his neck, because we're making, like, the wiener dog look. All right, then you're going to go about a finger space up, and you're going to make another partial oval that comes out. All right, now we're ready for the body. So for the body, you're gonna start about two finger spaces up, and you're gonna do a nice long oval. And this one, you're gonna connect right back, kind of into the leg a little bit, so you don't wanna go into the body too, you wanna bring it down just a little so that it goes into the leg as well. 
Like I said, we're kind of going for the wiener, wiener dog vibe. So we're making it a little bit longer because then it's funny. All right. Then on this back end, where you're going to go is about halfway down through your um, curve of your body oval. You're going to bring that down and you're going to make the rest of the oval. Just like so. Okay, then we're making overlaps. You're gonna come in just a little. You're gonna curve it out like so, and then bring it back up. And then of course, my favorite part of these balloon animals are the tail, like this part just cracks me up. So you're gonna start where your leg meets, well, the best part to say is where it meets the butt of your, your dog. You're gonna start right there, and you're gonna come out and make a nice, oval and then of course they always have like that little piece of balloon that's left so you're just gonna draw a little kind of really skinny partial half kind of oval I guess you could say because it's not quite a full oval but just a partial all right so that is our balloon dog animal so far now when it comes time to color you're going to want to make sure that you do what's called highlights and shadows, okay? Most of you, if you've had me in class, you know what highlights and shadows are. But I'm just going to kind of show you. I'm going to use a pencil for this part. Um, that way you can see where I'm drawing. But you're going to want to add these highlights so that when you color, it really does look like a three-dimensional balloon animal, okay? So you're going to draw a line, and I'm going to try to draw mine kind of dark. And actually, you know what? I'm going to go with Sharpie on mine so that you can really see that because I, oops, because I really want you to um, be able to, to get those shadows. So you're going to start with just a line that kind of comes up and you're going to curve it around and you're going to bring it back down. Now if you notice I didn't touch the edge, I just want to kind of create. And what I'm doing is I'm going with more where it's pointed at one end and it's curved on the other to really show where the highlight is. So a highlight is when the light is going to hit that. That's going to be that brighter area. So we're going to draw a couple highlights. So again, you're just going to come up on the leg like so. You're going to curve it around and you're gonna bring it back down. And if you notice, I'm kind of curving with the shape of that. Now, since this one is behind, this actually doesn't have a highlight. It's gonna have just a shadow instead, um, which we'll get to shadows in just a little bit, okay? So next, I'm gonna do one on the back. Now, this one is gonna be a longer one, okay? Then I'm gonna curve this around, and I'm gonna bring it so that it gets smaller as it goes to the tail. Okay, same with on the neck, we're gonna do that one. Line, curve it around, bring it down, and then we're gonna do them on the ears. So we'll line up, curve it around, bring it down. Line up, curve it around, bring it down. And if you notice, some are smaller and some are bigger depending on that space, okay? We are gonna have one on the head. And we're gonna have a couple on the legs. All right, so now you have what's going to look like the highlight or the shiny spot on your project. Now, you're also going to want to do some low lights or some shading, okay? I'm just going to draw a little detail in there if you want to add that in. And it kind of looks more like the actual nose. Um, so anyways, back to shading. <clears throat> so shading is going to be on the opposite side of where your highlight is. Okay, so the bottom would then be the shaded area. Now this you wouldn't necessarily draw a line for. Instead, you're just going to color that. So when I color mine, you'll be able to kind of see how I um, do that on mine. Okay, of course, just like always, if you want to add a ground so that it looks like your animal is actually sitting on something and not necessarily just floating in air, although it is a balloon animal, so it could be, um, you could always draw a line that goes across. Remember, we always want our line to go up so that it hits our animal um, instead of just having it right on the edge. Otherwise, it wouldn't really make sense. This grounds our animal so that we can actually see it on a space. 
Okay, and then just like always, if you want to draw some details in your background or do some designs, you are more than welcome to do so. I'm going to fast forward. I'm going to kind of show you and I'll pop back on in the end. That way I can explain those shadows a little bit better to you as well. So if you want to draw extra details in your background, go ahead. I might draw some doggy bones or some doggy little pictures. I'm kind of debating on some of that. So I will pop back on shortly and you can watch then and we'll talk about our final project. Have fun, you guys. final finished little balloon dog so if you notice I did add the shading so I just colored darker on the opposite side of wherever that highlight was I also just very very lightly colored in the highlight too um, just so that it wasn't just this bright bright white or looked like it was see-through but still had a little bit of dimension I did decide to add some fun little um, background images into mine as well so I added some little doggy bones and some water dishes and some tennis balls. And I just realized I missed coloring one. There you go. Um, so just like always, don't forget then to also sign your artwork because it is important when it is yours. Okay, and that makes you an artist. And then of course, just like always, please make sure that you're sharing your pictures with me. I love seeing them. I can't wait to see what you do with this one, um, especially if you decide to add some fun things into the background too. I can't wait to see which colors that they are and see how yours turned out. I hope you guys had fun with this project and we'll see you on the next video.